99% that Chad Daybell will not take the stand in his triple murder trial. It's now underway in Idaho. But today, kind of testified anyway. You would probably know that he's a former grave digger turned doomsday prophet, and he's charged with killing his first wife, Tammy, and the two youngest children of his second wife, the so-called doomsday cult mom, Lori Vallow. The state's case today was all about um, June 9th, 2020. That is the day that seven-year-old J.J. Vallow was found in a makeshift grave in Daybell's backyard. He was buried under sod and rocks and formal wood paneling, still wearing his little red pajamas with a garbage bag over his head wrapped in duct tape. And the body of his sister, 16-year-old Tylee Ryan, was found nearby. She'd been dismembered and partially burned. Her remains were scattered in a pet cemetery. Part of Tylee's skull was found underneath a melted bucket. Today in court, the prosecutors played Chad's phone call to his wife, Lori, who by then was in jail. And Chad was doing some play-by-play -play of the investigators that were in his yard, telling Lori that the police were there looking, searching. Soon the heat got to be a little too much for him and he actually ended up driving off, taking off, giving chase, a chase that really lasted a nanosecond. And once he was caught and cuffed and stuffed into the back of a cruiser, wouldn't you know it that the cameras were rolling inside the patrol car? When Chad then gets on the phone with his adult daughter, Emma, and laughs while telling her, quote, I'm not coming back. Have a listen. Yeah, you take that mattress from upstairs, I guess, do what you want, put the books back on the shelf. <laughs> We're going to make it through. They'll let you move out of there. You just get over here. You get gosh. Oh, I <laughs> still feel better. I'd be moving down. That's what the spirit was telling me, but I didn't know how it would all. I felt like I needed to learn more. Mm. And now I get it. <laughs> that's what they told me, that they found human remains. And I said, well, there are several dogs that have been buried there. And he said, respectfully, Emma, I can tell the difference of human remains. And I asked, where was it? And he said, over by the pond under that tree. Mm. And it was in the ground. He had boards over it. Mm. Okay. But that, that didn't, Jason and I have walked all over over there. Yeah. But, and yeah. I can see in your face that surprised you. That, yeah, I, I'm i not coming back. So all that stuff that's in the baby room is Lori's and mine. The suitcases, you'll see. Any other questions you have? I think, well, it sounds like you're not going to be out. Right. <laughs> kind of giggles there. Joined by uh, Larry Woodcock now, who's JJ's grandfather. Um, Larry's in the courtroom today. Larry, what was your reaction to hearing that tape from the back of the cruiser, Chad, laughing uh, a couple of times with his daughter as this morbid investigation was going, going on just right in front of him? You know, it, it was it was sad. Uh, I truly think that Chad was maybe giving a, a confession of consciousness. And, uh, you know, if, when you're when you're guilty and and you're talking as he did in the back of that car. It wasn't trying to explain to his daughter that, you know, no, that I, I don't know anything about it. I, I'm, I don't even, I have no concept of what's going on. I've been framed, you know, it's okay. I'm not coming back. And, and you can you know, have the- Larry were, were you surprised the daughter doesn't seem to ask anything? I mean, if, if, if this was a daughter who knew nothing about this and was shocked, it, wouldn't she be saying, what's going on? But instead, she doesn't seem to want to ask any questions about these remains. Well, Ashley, stop and think about something. He spent an, between an hour and two hours in our home visiting with her, talking to her. Just maybe that was explained then, because even when she's standing out there, you know, there's no probing questions whatsoever. 
uh, gigantic. Just absolutely bizarre. Larry, I, I want to invite uh, you and Kay back. I know Kate's going to testify. Um, and when Kay testifies, I'd like to have both of you back. I'm, I'm running short on time tonight, but um, I'm always thinking of you and, and Kay as you try to get through this next trial. Will you, will you join me again? Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.